Hello, hello, hello. It's your Wisconsin Wine Guy, and guess what? It must be Wednesday, because if it's Wednesday, I'm on. It is Wine Wednesday, and I'm here to give you another wine review again. Now, these are wines that you'll find in your everyday liquor stores, grocery stores, and even some wine shops. So on today's episode, oh, but wait, the grading system is very simple. Rather than bog you down with all this technology, just get straight to the point, letting our palates be the guide. So the system, thumbs up. I highly recommend that wine, three quarters, Halfway means that, you know what, if it's at a party at three quarters, you know, I'll drink the wine. Halfway, you know, it's just okay. I probably wouldn't reach for it on the shelf, but maybe you give it a try and maybe you'll enjoy it and let me know what you think. Thumbs down, get that wine out of here. Now, <clears throat> on today's episode, we are going to California, J Vineyard or J Winery Pinot Noir, and this is a 2016 Pinot Noir. Now, J, oftentimes you see this wine on the shelf, whether it be white, red, or different labels, it says J. You know, I remember being younger and saying, I wonder what that stands for. So I did a little research, well, now I know, but did a little research and found out that the J stands for Judy Jordan. She's a female in the wine business, you know, owned and operated, I started this, this vineyard oh, probably 30 years ago. You know, I mean, just follow her dreams, follow her passion. You know, and she they also have a female wine drinker, that I, a wine maker, I should say, that I found out her name. I got the notes right here. is Nicole Hitchcock. So Nicole's doing some fantastic things over there at J Winery, keeping the dream alive, you know, with the, the female power. Go women. All right, now. Let's get to the tasting. Now, as usual, I open the wine uh, a day or two days before, give it time to breathe, pour the wine out of the bottle, Haley's Corker, keeping it fresh for me. So I do a, a uh, mouth rinse first, so a palate rinse first. Oh, let me tell you, so 2016, now something interesting about this before I taste, this particular label, the black label, is made from grapes sourced from three different vineyards, Sonoma County, which is the Sonoma, where uh, the J Vineyard Winery is located, uh, Monterey County, and Santa Barbara. So you're going to get like a, a bit of something from each of those areas all combined into one. So let's see how well they play together. So you're going to get like, you know, fruit, you're going to get spice, you're going to get depth, you know, something bold. All right, now for the rinse. Now, I'll tell you something else. This is coming in out of California talking about, you know, bold wines, you know, not good sunshine, ripening the grapes. We're looking at 14% alcohol on this. So another thing in tasting is making sure that the alcohol isn't so strong that it just takes the wine out of balance. So we're looking for balance here, you know, balance with the fruit, balance with acidity, you know, balance with the tannins. And here we go. Okay, now, ripe and fruity. Again, it's like night and day when I first had it. When I first opened it up, it was kind of tight. You know, so it was unfair. That's why it's unfair to judge a while when you first open it. Give it a chance to breathe. So it was, it's just nice and fruity. Tannins, let me get those tannins again. Tannins are medium. You can't even, I can't even detect the note of the alcohol. There's an alcohol burn, so the fruit and the alcohol blends really well. Um, about medium acidity, you know, I think it's a it's a decent everyday drinking wine, you know, coming from Jay. I mean, the complexities are there. It's not like over the top, you know, but you get like the subtle spice, you know, dark, more darker fruits, you know, with the hint of red in the background. So we give it one more taste and I give you my opinion. So Jay Vineyard, I get a little bit, for me, a little bit of bitterness on the finish. You know, but it's just a little bit too strong for me. But, you know, that's just my palate. So I'm going to give this three quarters, three quarters. If it was at a party, I would drink this wine. I know they make, you know, uh, Jay uh, Winery makes uh, wines at a at a higher level, which would be even more complex, more different. But I would drink this at a party. You'll find this in your everyday stores. You know, I recommend, you know, going and getting it. I wouldn't turn it down. You know, I don't like the bitterness on the finish, you know, but maybe it's completely different with food. Hey, maybe it's something that I ate already and had it. <laughs> so she was Wisconsin Wine Guy again saying the J Vineyard Wine, J, 2016 Pinot Noir with grapes sourced from Sonoma, Monterey, and Santa Barbara. I give it a three quarters. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. 
comment down below. I look forward to hearing what your opinions are. We'll see you next time when you probably a little bit more of this. We'll see you next time when uh, I'll be evaluating wines that you find in your everyday stores. Let your palate be the guy. Bye.